left off at lottery in the last video and that's where we'll continue. So lottery is a method of allocating resources to those who pick the winning numbers, draw lucky cards, etc. Or we could just say that they're a way to allocate resources to lucky people. State lotteries and casinos have reallocated, allo reallocated millions of dollars of goods and services every year and it works best when there are no effective ways to distinguish among potential users of a scarce, scarce resource. That is that if there's no way to find the right person to do uh, this job or to use this resource, then lottery is the best way to go uh, for that kind of situation. Now, the second way to uh, reallocate uh, resources is, um, is personal characteristics. And for personal characteristics, uh, it is based on people with the right characteristics. These people get the resources. A good example of this is a marriage. Marriage partners are chosen on the basis of, char of personal characteristics. And uh, yeah, that is an example of personal characteristics. But personal characteristics can also be used in an unacceptable way. And here we have an example where allocating the best jobs to white males and discriminating against visible minorities and women is an example of personal characteristics. And for the last part, force. Now, force is the biggest uh, reallocation method, and uh, historically, it pretty much plays a big part as well. And for both good and ill reasons, force is our last way of allocating resources. Again, war has played an enormous role in this historically in allocating resources. An example of this can be seen when for by European settlers in America uh, early in the, I don't know, like 1400s I'm not really sure but yeah when the Europeans came to America they used force to get what they wanted so that's the method of resource allocation for them now theft is pretty much a subset of force it's you know taking personal belongings without consent and large-scale organized crime and petty theft has collectively allocated billions or reallocated billions billions of dollars worth of resources annually Force is, however, an effective way to transfer wealth from the rich to the poor. When you're too poor, you probably break in or blackmail someone, uh, mo most likely someone very rich, to get to get money or something, or something of worth. The legal system is the foundation on which our market economy functions, and without courts, there would be no incentive to do business. So the idea behind that is, if we're not productive, if we're not protected. Uh, what's the point of doing business if what we're gonna what we're gonna make is gonna get stolen anyways? So the legal system prevents that. It's what our market economy functions on, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, the state provides the ultimate force that enables courts to do their work. If you don't listen to the courts, well, they'll just call in the military or something, and then then you'll listen to the courts. Now, the force of the state is essential to uphold the rule of law principle, and that is something that is not really important in this context. You can look it up on Wikipedia or something if you're really interested, but you'll probably never be tested on the rule of law. Now, with law, people are assured that their property is protected and they can take legal action if there are violations. For example, they can sue for violations against their property or they can be sued if they violate others' property. And from that, free from, per free from burden of protecting one's own assets, one can focus on the activities at which they have comparative advantage. They could trade for mutual gain and they could, I mean, they could uh, exploit their comparative advantage to which they will use for personal gain. And that's it. Those are nine... Uh, resource allocation methods and their following descriptions. A little word of note, the words that are highlighted orange here are pretty much something really important that you should remember with respect to the allocation method. But other than that, hope you'll uh, rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.